Um, so my wife and I purchased Blur off Devon, a dispensing optician back in 2013. So it's just ticked over five years. Three kids, yeah. yep. So yeah, look, the idea was to smash out the businesses as quick as we can. So we've got two practices, but also smash out the kids as quick as we can. So the, the bulk of the product is European. The two main brands, I guess, that, that we sort of uh, look at for inspiration would be Teo and, and Ballantyne. So all these guys do is eyewear. That's all they do. They, they don't make handbags. They don't make perfume. These guys are at the forefront of, of the optical industry in terms of frames, and, and they're the ones leading the industry forward. These guys will fl fly in from Belgium um, with their wares and and show us what's new. Push the boundaries, I guess, of eyewear um, and, and our customers, um, trying to get people to have a bit of fun yeah. with their eyewear at the same time. A little bit different from the norm, so it, it can have the effect of drawing attention. Some people love that, some people don't. Um, and saying that not all of the eyewear is like that. Um, a lot of it's, it's sold based on its uh, structure and form and, and materials and, and the way it's built at the end of the day. Everything we buy, the, you know, the rampant consumerism um, is leading to this sort of throwaway society, you know. You buy something, then it's out the door two seconds later. Yeah, look, you get, you get these frames turning up again to get reglazed with the new prescription because people change. Um, you know, they'll, they'll hold on to these glasses for five years, ten years, and they're still going strong.